Hi everyone, this is Claudine Helmuth and I am really excited to introduce you to my new stencils brought to you by Ranger and the Crafters Workshop. So let me show you a few of the stencil designs. There are six designs in all and this is the Paris design. You can't quite see the top of the Eiffel Tower there. Um, this is what it looks like in the packaging but then here is my already well-loved stencil where you can see the whole stencil and some of my paint on the stencil as well. So we have Paris. We also have um, Our Town, which are these cute little houses. And then here is the top of the stencil as well. You can see here in another one of my well-loved stencils. So really cute little houses and you can use all the parts separately or together. Then we have the love birds here, which are these birds on a wire with the word love, and it repeats so you can stencil it in a repeat across and it will all match up. And we have to go with the birds, we have bird cages, and you can see the top of the stencil here where there's a, a little bird there. So that's really cute and you could also stamp um, or stencil individually the bird cages or all together. Then we have a couple of florals. So we have this repeat floral here, which I just love. This is fast becoming my favorite stencil. And then we have this one here, which is a little floral scene. And uh, here's what the top looks like. You can see that there's a little butterfly up there. And this is another great stencil. So these are what they look like in their packaging. And I'm going to show you a little bit of getting started using these stencils, some basic stenciling techniques. And then uh, check out some of my other videos where I've got some fun different techniques using stencils as well. All right, so you, this is just a really simple, basic, direct stenciling technique to show you just to get started with your stencils. And we're gonna be using the Claudine Helma Studio paints. They come in a mini size or in the larger jar. If you're gonna use the larger jar, you might want a little craft stick as well. And then choose your favorite stencil for this technique. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one. Now you can stencil onto just about any surface. So you could use sticky back, you could use tags, you could go on wood, metal, whatever surface your paint will stick to, you can stencil onto. I really like to stencil onto gift tissue paper, just the plain white gift tissue. And what this will enable you to do is stencil as many times as you want, get it exactly how you want, and then apply it to your surface using multi-medium. And I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of this video. So just place your stencil down wherever you want it. Because we're working on the gift tissue, we know we can rearrange it later. And then what I'm gonna use is the ink blending tool by Ranger with a foam top. This makes a great applicator for stenciling. Now, if you are using the jar paint, you would want to just take out the paint by using a little craft stick and apply the paint to the foam this way. Or you can, if you're using the minis, they just squeeze right out of the jar or out of the bottle and you can just squeeze it right on. And the first step is to get your foam nicely saturated with paint and just kind of blend it around with your craft stick to smooth it out. And what I like to do is tap it first onto my craft sheet to make sure that I'm getting nice, even paint coverage so that there's not a big glob coming out somewhere. So let me just wipe that off so you kind of get the idea there. Then we are ready to start stenciling. Now with stenciling, a little bit goes a long way. You'd rather build up light layers than go for it with a big glob of paint and, um, and then it would seep under your stencil. So just firmly hold your stencil in place and tap away. So just repeated tapping and you may need to, depending on the size that you're stenciling, you may need to add more paint to your ink blending tool 
as you go along, but that's up to you. I kind of like it where it gets a little faded in some areas and it's darker in other areas. So continue doing that until you've done the whole stencil or as much of it as you would like to do. You can also use a light swirling motion. This really works um, well once you are getting down to where the paint is getting lighter. You really don't want to do the swirling motion when you've got a really juicy foam filled with paint because it, it can spread under the stencil. So uh, use the light swirling motion for when you feel like you're running out of paint on the foam. And then go ahead and lift off your stencil and you can see we've got a really nice stencil right here on the gift tissue paper. Now I'm going to show you how you can apply that to a tag and it will disappear and look like you stenciled it right onto the tag. Okay, so here is how to incorporate the stenciled gift tissue paper onto a tag and I'm just using the Ranger craft tags here in this size but obviously you could use whatever size or surface you want and then I'm using the studio matte multi-medium which comes in a mini size and also a large jar and then you'll want a paintbrush as well to paint on the multi-medium so just go ahead and choose wherever you would like for your tag so I think um, I could do this area and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of trim in the general spot so that way I don't have too much excess And that looks pretty good. I'm actually going to trim off this grass down here and I'm going to add it again at the end. So that looks pretty cute to me just for a very simple tag. And I'm just going to um, use the multi-medium, squeeze it onto your surface and move it around, spread it out nice and thin with your brush and place your tissue on where you'd like it to go. And then a little bit more medium on top to really smooth it out. And then I'm going to add the grass down here so I just need a little bit more medium and you want to be really gentle with your brush because it's gift tissue it's very lightweight and you could either trim off the excess or just fold it over and glue it to the back using the multi-medium so there you have a really simple little tag and you can see here it blends in really nicely so I like to also do this on top of book pages where it allows the the background to show through so here's this old book page that I have that's about birds and I have stenciled the bird stencil using classic teal onto a gift tissue again so I'll just do this exact same process line it up where I'd like it to go and place my tissue down and a little bit of extra on top and spread out from the center going out so it spreads nice and smoothly And then you could trim off the excess or fold it around. And I would most likely include this book page onto a, a canvas or something like that. But you get the idea. Then what's really nice about working on the tissue is then you can layer all of your stenciled designs. So if I wanted to, I could then layer 
the flower on top or have it up there or incorporate any of the other designs. Maybe layer the uh, bird cages on top or things like that. So now once you're all done stenciling for the day, you want to clean your stencils. Now I, I skipped this step, but just when I'm finished stenciling, I do spray it with some water and wipe it down with a paper towel if the paint is still wet. But sometimes I've been working along and the paint is dried like this. And after a while, I don't mind if it's got a little bit of paint build up on it. As you can see, all of these have some paint build up on it. But sometimes with some of the techniques, the paint gets really thick and you want to get it off. Well, that's where the rubbing alcohol comes in handy. And all you're going to do is just saturate a paper towel with rubbing alcohol and wipe down your stencil and you will remove that paint. So you could even make a little a tray or cookie sheet and fill it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and soak your stencils in it for just a little bit and then wipe them down. So that's a great way to kind of remove if it gets too many layers of paint. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction to using stencils and tissue paper. Just a really quick and easy direct stenciling technique. I've got some other videos with some fun stenciling techniques, so make sure to check those out as well.